Wrapping up a nice win for Campbell here over Tennessee Tech. Moving on to the semifinals of the Women's Basketball Invitation. What a fun night. We're here with Ronnie Fisher to break it down. Coach, early on, Tennessee Tech played very well, but your team found a way to bounce back and get a nice win. Yeah, it was a heck of a win. Uh, you know, credit Tennessee Tech and their coaching staff. They've got an amazing program. Uh, if you look at their uh, schedule this year and the teams they've beaten, they beat Belmont, they beat Middle Tennessee State, and Kim's done a tremendous job there. And uh, for us to, to come out on top of them is a, is a major win for our program. And just so proud of our players and the effort and the, the team effort that it took to do that. Haley Barber with 23 points tonight. Obviously a team effort, but when she's playing well, this team's at another level. Yeah, Haley, you know, what she's done over the second half of the season is uh, she's uh, she's played with poise and she's been a leader for our team. And uh, she, she she gives us a calming effect, and we, we trust her with the ball. And then her ability, she gets to the rim, and she's shooting the ball well, and she finds her open teammate. Uh, she did a great job for us. And uh, we, we had a great team effort. I mean, I tell you, I could go down the list, you know, uh, Lauren McNamara Clement has played so much better here, and she's earned playing time. And for her to play 17 minutes and go four for five from the floor, that presence inside is what we've been missing sometimes. And she, she did a great job and a great job defensively. And uh, I, I could keep mentioning players, Lou, and I thought Shy. She didn't have her best shooting game. She made a few, but then she made some beautiful passes. And uh, just, just is a great team effort. And they, they're explosive offensively. And you know their best player we. We really tried to defend the three and held them to four three-pointers, which is big. And uh, the Brock kids is such a great shooter, and their leading scorer, she has four points. And we, we were focused on defense, too. Certainly for you guys as well, holding Tennessee Tech to 62, but also hitting eight threes and getting some friendly bounces there in the fourth quarter. <laughs> yeah, there were a couple that hit that rim and went up and fell in. But what they were is the, the, the plays were executed, the shots were in rhythm, and they were good shots at the basket. And that's... That's what we want. They don't always go in, but we want to execute and get a great shot and not turn the ball over. And I think we had 10 turnovers for the game, and, and that's really good. Uh, Lou came in there, and her, she and Haley at that point guard position did a tremendous job. And just couldn't be proud, more proud of a team. Um, we're a little tired. It's been a long couple of weeks, but uh, we're grinding and we're competing. and. And it's just fun to watch. I, as, a, as a fan, I enjoyed it, not just as a coach. Well, winning is certainly fun, and it's going to be nice to see you on Saturday here against App State. Congrats on the win, Coach. Thanks so much, Evan. That's Ronnie Fisher with his thoughts on this game. Let's uh, bring over Haley Barber. Sorry to make her wait a couple of minutes, but she certainly worked hard today. Wouldn't mind a few minutes to relax and catch a breather. So, Haley, first and foremost, there we go. We'll get this all situated for you. She's a good scorer. We'll, we'll figure out the headsets here in a <laughs> second. But, Haley, for your team, I guess we'll start defensively, limiting Tennessee Tech to 62. What, what went into that effort tonight? You know, we knew that they were a driving team and shooting team. They could do both. And each of their players were really good offensively, so we had to help each other a lot and stop them defensively, and our offense would come. Certainly for you, 23 points. It is a team effort, but what's it like when the ball's, especially with you driving early in the game? It feels good. I mean, it's all credit to my teammates because they spaced the floor and knew that I could go in and get buckets. And then uh, when I had the open shot, they threw it to me. So postseason play continues. Now in the semifinals, what's it like just to, to keep surviving and see how far you go? It's exciting. You know, being a part of history in Campbell is cool to have your name in the books so. now. Well, thanks, Haley. Do you have fun tonight? Absolutely. <laughs> Can't wait to go to Boone. So Haley Barber and the girls heading to Boone this weekend. Let's show you some stats from this matchup. Thank you. As Campbell gets the win by eight here tonight. And overall for Campbell, very good shooting night from long range. Eight of 15 from three-point land. Campbell got to the free throw line a bunch tonight. A rebounding battle very close, but Campbell passed the ball around. We saw Barber with 23. We also saw Shai Tooley with 13 points. And overall in this game, Serrano had eight herself coming off the bench for Campbell. And Certainly in a game like this, Kyle, you want to see what Campbell could do against some pressure. They responded well to what Tennessee Tech brought to the table. Especially down the stretch. Tennessee came out with the first swing. They threw the initial haymaker, getting inside. It really took the physicality to Campbell early on. But then Bolden came in, I thought, really made a difference at the start of that second quarter and started to change the tone. Then Campbell became the aggressor, and I thought that was a key moment of the game followed by the shooting. Once Campbell established the paint, Tennessee Tech pinched in, 
But then when that happens, you have to have players knock down shots. And Campbell got it from Thule. They got it from Barber. They got it from an array of sources. And Carter even provided some key minutes, Absolutely. particularly in that fourth quarter, getting to the free throw line defensively. It was a round team effort for Campbell. Let's show you the bracket and how things unfold now in the WBI. So a couple of winners tonight, App State and Campbell. And App State, a very good team out of the Sun Belt. Campbell already played Coastal Carolina in the Sun Belt. And now a trip to the finals on the line here in the WBI. Well, it all comes down. We talked about it in the broadcast, Devin. It's about execution. You know, everyone sort of knows what what the other team's strength is. It's about executing your strengths, trying to get the game in your favor. I thought Campbell early on today, it was it was in Tennessee's Tech's favor, tempo, getting up and down the floor. Then Campbell was able to buckle down, make it more of a half-court game, a game they thrived in, and the score ended up being right where they wanted it. So Campbell heads to App State on Saturday. A fun win here for Campbell in the quarterfinals of the WBI.